Have you wondered how transactions get approved in Bitcoin blockchain? Why you need to wait for three to six confirmations for the transactions to appear in your wallet? This video attempts to explain how a Bitcoin transaction is approved and the process behind it. Let's assume Gobish transferred Bitcoin worth $100 from one crypto exchange to another. Once he does the transfer, the transaction message is sent to the network and passed around all the network participants which are also called nodes. This is called the transaction pool. Currently, the transaction is in an unconfirmed state. All the transactions in the transaction pool will be in an unconfirmed status. Now we will understand who is a miner. In simple words, those who validate new transactions and record them on the global ledger of a blockchain are called miners and this activity is called mining. To make it simple, let's assume there are currently three miners who are trying to confirm the transaction from the transaction pool including Gobishes. Normally, miners will select those transactions which generate a high transaction fees for them. Currently, the number of confirmed blocks in the blockchain public ledger is 998. Once the miner identify that the 998th block is a valid block, they try to create a candidate block by adding unconfirmed transactions from the transaction pool. Now these miners are trying to add the 999th block. To add the blocks, they have to solve a complex mathematical problem and this is known as the proof of work. Let's assume all the three miners were able to solve this problem and have a proof of work. Now we have three different candidate blocks. Let's call them 99A, 999B and 999C. Now, which of these blocks will form part of the valid block will depend on the longest chain rule. Let's understand what is the longest chain rule. Now, there are other miners who are trying to create other valid blocks and based upon the speed by which a block is created, other miners will keep on adding their blocks on the top of the earlier blocks. Here, in this case, Miner C had a better processor which was able to create a block faster than Miner A and B and hence new blocks were created on the top of block 999C. Now the longest chain is the one created by 999C and it will keep on adding other blocks like 1000, 1001 and so on. So what happens to the block 999A and 999B. They have to create the proof of work again with the new set of transactions from the transaction base. Each confirmation represents adding each block. Each confirmation will take on an average of around 10 minutes or more per block. Applying the longest chain rule in the proof of work, unconfirmed transactions will become a confirmed transaction and added to the blockchain ledger. Once the blocks are added, miners will receive a transaction fees and block fees which will be the new Bitcoin created as an incentive for approving the transactions. Block rewards will be reducing every year and in the end only the transaction fees will be there as new Bitcoins will not be created. As a general rule, the number of confirmations depend upon the size of the transactions as follows. Zero. Payment with zero confirmation can still be reversed. Wait for at least one. One confirmation is enough for small Bitcoin payments less than $1,000. Three, enough for payments between $1,000 and $10,000. Most exchanges require three confirmations for deposits. Six, enough for large payments between $10,000 and $1 million. Six is the standard for most transactions to be considered secure. 60. Suggested for large payments greater than 1 million. 
less is likely fine but this is to be safe